Hey, you guys, I am super excited to come and show you guys two new products from e.l.f. Everyone and their mother and their brother and their sister has already done a review and a try on on this. I finally got my hands on these and I'm so excited to test them out today. First of all, I already have my eyes done because I'm also doing a swatches and try on video of the Anastasia Riviera palette that already went up so check out the link up above to check that out as well typically I don't tend to combine um, filming like two reviews in the same day kind of thing but this week I pretty much had no choice because I only had one day to film so this is what we've got so let me show you what we're working with. We have the e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. I got this in two shades, light peach and medium peach. I believe that this retails for either five or six dollars. I know that the foundation is either five or six as well. I'll put the prices in like here. So hopefully that helps, but that is either five or six dollars, which is amazing. And then I got the foundation in two shades as well. I got buff and vanilla. Vanilla says it's light with golden undertones and buff says it's light with peachy undertones. They actually look dark um, against my skin tone, but they definitely match my neck fairly closely, it looks like. I think I will be trying buff today and I think I'm going to pair it with medium peach. And this foundation, by the way, is the Flawless finish foundation. So we're going to start with foundation today and I will most likely be applying it with a damp Real Techniques Miracle Complexion, basically the Real Techniques Beauty Blender. Same freaking difference. Okay, so here is our foundation and it has a pump. Thank you very much. Yes, I did already swatch this to make sure it's fairly close to my skin tone. So I love that there is a pump like how do we have these crazy expensive foundations that don't have a pump and yet I can get an elf one with a pump. So I'm going to pop some of this on my hand. It's a nice thick foundation, pretty color. Just taking a little bit on the sponge. Now I have a lot of scarring going on. So this is supposed to be the peachy undertones and it's definitely very, very peachy, which is nice. It's not too, too yellow. I was afraid it would be really yellow. I was having trouble finding one with more pink undertones. So far, it seems to be covering up my discoloration pretty well. And I like the finish with a beauty blender. It's really pretty. Oh, by the way, kids, PSA, don't pick at cystic acne. Really freaking bad idea. I know this and yet I still do it. Okay, so going with like a medium coverage amount, it looks like one pump covered the lower half of my face. I am going in fairly thick with this just because I have a good amount of issues to cover up today. So I want fairly full coverage finish today. Okay, that finish to this foundation is beautiful. It's really, really pretty. It looks like skin. It's not super matte, which I love. I was worried it would be like super, super matte. It's not. It has a very natural satiny finish to it. Now, I don't have primer on my face at all. All I have on is my moisturizer that I used probably about a couple hours ago. I'm gonna put a little bit more down in this area because I have so much scarring. A few weeks ago, I had some really, really bad breakouts on my cheeks, which I never get breakouts on my cheeks, but I had some really bad ones. And there's a couple more still popping up, but the majority of them are gone. Okay, 
That is really, really pretty. I like that a lot. All right, now I'm going in with the concealer and I'm using the shade Medium Peach. I noticed that these shades tend, A, it's a decent shade range, and B, these shades tend to run really light. Like that's Medium Peach, and that looks like it would be almost way too light for my skin tone. So if you normally get like an ivory or something, the ivory will probably be too light for you. Like normally, I would never wear the shade buff in anything. It would be way too dark. Normally, I would wear like an ivory or a vanilla, and this is like perfect match. So their shade ranges run like a couple shades lighter than normal or what is typical. Yeah, see how light that is? So I'm just dotting that in there. I'm also going to just dot a little bit on some of the spots I want to cover up and just let that sit while we blend in the concealer underneath the eyes more here because if you can't tell by the eye makeup I'm feeling a little bit extra today and run this in okay I need to take a closer look at this what in the ever loving huh Okay, uh, we're going to see how this wears throughout the day, but just looking at this straight on, um, I think it has better coverage than the ColourPop concealer, and it has a beautiful finish, and I think it's comparable to Shape Tape. In fact, depending on how this wears, I might like it more than Shape Tape. We will see. I've been having way too many issues with Shape Tape, creasing and creping and making my under eyes just look bad. Not bad necessarily, but very, very dry. And I'm not into that lately. Okay, that is pretty. That is really, really pretty. Okay, I'm just going to see how this does on these little spots. Blending into the foundation. Hmm. Okay, that seriously helped hide that freaking monster. That's good. By the way, guys, that's my little trick. If you're covering up blemishes with concealer, if your foundation alone isn't cutting it or they're um, really dark or you pop them and they're kind of funky, Put the concealer on, let it set for like 30 seconds to a minute, and then blend it out. It will dry down a bit on its own, and you will get so much better coverage. Oh my gosh. Let me scooch in here a bit. There's a tiny bit of creasing underneath my eyes that's to be expected. I'm just going to slough that out with Beauty Blender. Yeah, that is... A really really pretty finish all right so I'm going to go ahead and do my bronzer and blush and everything real quick I'm using the NARS Laguna bronzer which I just got in a Sephora play box I'm super excited to play with this it's really pretty I've actually been using this elf highlighting brush for bronzer because I found that it just does the blending for you which is so nice it almost blends out my highlight a bit too much, but I love the way it works for bronzer and contour and stuff. Now, I am not setting my under eyes and I'm not setting my foundation. One, because this foundation is kind of a satiny matte finish. It's not super, super glowy, so I don't think it really needs set. And also the concealer is supposed to be matte on its own, and if you tend to set a matte concealer with a matte powder, you can end up with dry, crepey under eyes really, really, really fast. So I'm not going to set it. If I get any little creasing, 
All I have to do is take my finger throughout the day and just tap it out. And honestly, everyone has his little lines. You're going to get creasing. It doesn't bother me that much. Honestly, I don't think it looks that bad. Now for blush, I am using my Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in the shade Party. It's just a very light, soft blush. And then for highlight, I am using my Laura Geller Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in Gilded Honey. This is gorgeous. It's a beautiful gold highlighter, but it's light enough gold that it looks really pretty on fair skin. I think it's just so nice. I think I'm going to keep it easy for lips, and I'm just going to use my Kylie Jenner Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Candy K. I love this color because it's super neutral, and no matter how crazy toothpaste your eyes look, it'll work. All right, so far, this foundation is looking amazing. This reminds me a lot of the Wet n Wild Photo Focus that I'm obsessed with. Like, I do not see the point of spending like $35, $40, $45, $50 on a foundation when you can get foundation that looks like this for $5. All right, guys, so right now this foundation looks amazing. Let me show you what time it is. It is 3.05 right now. I know it's late. Um, it's just been one of those days where everything has been running way later than I wanted it to. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of my eyes. And then I am going to check back in with you guys in a couple hours and let you know how this foundation is wearing. There's a teensy bit of creasing around my nose. And of course, you can always powder areas that tend to crease. But anyway, I'm going to go finish my eyes and we'll check back with you guys in a little bit. Hey you guys, so it is 7.15 right now and I just kind of wanted to show you guys what my foundation looks like in natural light. I've had it on for about three hours now. It actually is looking really, really good. I haven't just been like sitting around editing. I have actually been up and cooking for like the past two hours. We just finished dinner. So I've eaten, my lipstick's a bit worn off. But all in all, this foundation looks really, really good. I'm getting in real up close and personal. Hardly any is missing off my nose. My cheeks still look good. Forehead looks amazingly good for not being set. Like, nothing is in my lines at all. Sorry if my voice sounds a little funky still. I'm still getting over being sick. I'm like, I'm not sick anymore. I'm not contagious. I'm just, like, still coughing. Um, and as for that concealer, oh my goodness, that looks so, so good. My under eyes don't look dry, like, at all, which is amazing. And just overall, everything looks really, really well put together. So I'm very impressed. Of course, it's only been four hours because I put this on at around 3 o'clock. Technically, like more like 2.30ish, but by the time I was finished, it was closer to 3 o'clock. It's only been four hours, but I still think it looks really, really good. And typically, if a foundation is going to go funky on me, it typically goes weird within the first two to three. So I actually really like how this looks right now. So I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing for the evening, which is cleaning my living room. And I will check in with you guys later tonight before I take this off. Oh, and by the way, in case you're curious, the Riviera palette is also holding up very, very well. Very, very pleased with this foundation so far. Hey you guys, so it is 8.54, so almost 9 at night. We are actually calling it night. I was planning on filming this last update a little bit later, but we're both kind of tired and just like we're done. And frankly, I need to get these lashes off. This one is like all funky at the inner corner, and this one has like completely given up out here. So it's time to take the lashes off. So I'm just going to film an update and give you my final thoughts on the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation and the e.l.f. 16 Hour Camo Concealer. 
Let me scooch up real close so you guys can see. So as you guys can see, my skin still looks freaking insane. A little bit has worn off around my nose because of course I've been blowing my nose throughout the afternoon and a tiny bit has worn off around my mouth because I did eat dinner but everything else still looks really 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 good. Like my forehead looks really good. I look a little bit more dewy but that's to be expected considering that I didn't powder and this is just the foundation concealer. There's no powder, no nothing. My blush and bronzer are almost completely gone, which is kind of interesting. I would have thought that the NARS bronzer I was wearing would have lasted longer. But my skin does look very, very dewy, right on the edge of oily. And I have been wearing this for six hours now, so I would recommend if you do have oily skin, um, I wouldn't powder it right away, but I might carry some powder with you or have some blotting sheets if you don't like it when your skin starts looking dewy. Now for me personally, I actually like that. I like a more natural dewy skin finish rather than a super, super matte look because I found that matte looks can just make you look crepey and they can be aging after a while. My eyes look really, really good still. Um, the only thing I can say with the concealer is it looks a little bit dry in some spots, but overall really not that bad considering that I've been cleaning, cooking, I've been over like pots of steam today, etc. I cook like dumplings and a bunch of other stuff today. But all in all, I would say everything looks really, really good. And for the price, you, 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 you can get both of these for like $11 and like tax. So that's like nothing. That is less than what I usually spend on one drugstore foundation and half of what I spend on like Tarte Shape Tape. So this is an absolutely amazing combo. I think it's beautiful actually. Um, it's been a nice temperate day out. I keep my house at like 72 and then we've had sun coming in through the window So it's been like 74 in here roughly But I'd be interested to see how this does during the summer and might need a little bit of powder during the summer when it's really really hot out because it does get humid here but I think during the winter as well though when it's really really cold that you wouldn't need powder at all with this Why is my ear so red? My ear is like insanely red right now. Huh, that's weird. Okay, anyway, apparently I am tired and need to go to sleep. So my final thoughts on these are, I love them. I think they are really, really good. I think they are more than worth the money. Like realistically, Elf could probably charge double or triple what they're charging quite easily for these. Um, they're incredible. I'm so happy to have these in my collection. I'm happy that I grabbed some lighter shades as well for when my skin tone's a bit paler or for when I want a slightly brighter look. I'm amazed. I really, really am amazed. And all together, I actually think I like the e.l.f. Camo Concealer better than I like the ColourPop No Filter Concealer, which is saying a lot. Now, I still like the ColourPop Concealer a lot, but this one tends to have better coverage and doesn't tend to move as much on my skin without being set. Like the ColourPop one likes to move around and bunch a little bit, but this one pretty much stays in place. So I'm actually, yeah, I'm really, really impressed. All right, guys, that is it. Overall, I'm a huge fan of these. I would definitely recommend them. Huge thumbs up for me. Um, if you guys have any questions, comments, or just want to say hi, I'd love to hear from you down in the comments below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe to my channel. You can also keep up with me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. I am pretty much everywhere, and all the links for those are down below. Thank you guys so, so much for watching, and I will see you again very, very soon. Bye.